G'day, and welcome to Mark and Sam After Work. Today I want to do a video on this scope in front of us. Um, it's come across from Tract, um, which is a company, a fairly new scope company. They've been out for a little while. I've certainly seen their scopes um, in some videos on the internet, um, and they look great. Um, the guys actually reached out to us. One of our followers contacted them, said you should talk to these guys here. They knew of us guys, and then so they reached out to us. I then was on the phone with both John and John from this company, a couple of very nice guys, putting in what is a very thorough effort at putting together a scope and scope company, very thorough customer service, great guys to talk to. And with a little bit of a chat and going through things, they offered, they offered um, and suggested to send us this scope to have a look at and get to use um, in our shooting season. We'll take it out a couple of times at least. Already have used it once, and that was at the, the last thing we did with the six inch plate and the, and the 243 at 1100 yards and used this scope for that. Good, close to, good place to show it off. But I suppose the overview of what I've seen of this scope, very nicely finished in this steel gray. I don't know the actual name of the color, but this gray, very nice sort of distinctive sort of look to it. All the etching and the machining and the finish of things is a top class, you know, really finished nicely on that side of things. And I'll put some images on generally so you can see that sort of stuff. Um, the, the turrets, the, the way they work, they lift, so they lock down, they, you put them down, they lock, you lift them up, they move. Nice tactile sort of feel to them, nice and accurate. I haven't done a tall target test, not the type of thing I do. I test it in the field, it worked properly in the field. Um, from what I've seen, the reviews on this sort of stuff, nice and accurate and that sort of stuff, the guys have put the effort into it. Um, has only 100 minutes of elevation, so it's a little bit under what I think is the benchmark, but still up there and still very usable in that sort of level. Um, the same adjustment on the side, you lift it out to adjust it, nice tactile once again, nice, worked very nicely, easy to set, just undoing this cap screw on the, this, um, yeah, this cap screw on the side, undo a few turns, pull off, adjust, put back on, nice and simple. And they also, this comes with a um, zero stop, which is another little brass ring you put on there, set it up where you want it to be the zero stop, lock it up and works perfectly. So very easy to use, nice and simple. Um, parallax adjustment on the side of it, um, the, it's got numbers on there. I, I tend to prefer no numbers so people just don't use them, but of course nothing wrong with it. And in checking it, those numbers seem to be pretty accurate. You know, you're pretty close to it. But as I'd always say with parallax, don't do it just by focus. Don't do it just by the numbers. Do it by checking your parallax and seeing where it is, making sure that your crosshair isn't moving as you use your, move your eye around behind, but work really nicely. The, the, this is illuminated reticle. Um, put it in there. It is a Christmas tree reticle, which isn't my favorite style, but it's a good version of it. Work nicely, and I'll get into that a little bit more. And I'll also put on some images. People like to see what that illumination looks like. It's illuminated the whole working part of the reticle. So all the center, all the dots and bits and pieces illuminated. Um, I've done some, some basic footage with it dark, so you get to see it. As for, it's got all settings. It's got you know, power settings up to 11 off between each one. So very simple to click on and off without having to roll it around, that sort of stuff. So nicely nicely worked out, nicely thought out, worked really nicely. The power settings for your your um, your magnification, magnification power, um, nice and easy to use, a big range, bigger than what I'd normally use, but at four and a half to 30, means it does move it into where you're going to be able to use this for a lot of things. You know, this would be able to go and hunting right down there. You've got enough field of view and you can really zoom in. I tend to use around the 15 to 20. I use 20 for that six inch target. And I suppose in discussing the reticle, got some images on here, but when you look at that reticle, it's like I said, a little busy for what is my ideal reticle, but it's not too busy to be able to come back out to that 15, 20 power and you haven't got too much in your face. The nice thing in this reticle is the nice space in the center of the reticle and then a very small center dot, which means that like shooting that six inch target at 1100 yards, had a nice clear vision around the target with the dot I could place neatly on the target. So I like that bit of the reticle very much so. Fast focus um, back here. Not a huge fan of fast focus. I tend to prefer lockable, but nice tension to it. 
nice and easy to focus, work nicely on that sort of score. And, and my advice for people that do use these sort of focuses is to put a mark on there, put a dot on there when you've got it perfectly focused. So that then in a glance, when you're checking this thing, you can see it. It's not something you should be messing with too much. Sometimes you need to, but really generally, you're not gonna be messing with the focus much. So if you know where it is, it's a bit you don't need to mess with. So bumping and that sort of stuff, putting caps on and off it, that problem goes away. But um, still work very well, very nicely. Glass, glass quality. Um, listen, I'm not a glass connoisseur, um, and I suppose I, a little bit of that is that I, it's very good glass, is what I can tell you. As for is it better than the best sort of thing, or is it worse than the best, it's up at the level where it is very good, and I don't tend to notice a lot of difference beyond that point. Nice and bright, work really well, clean radical, nice etchings, that sort of stuff. I was very, very happy with it. 34 mil tube. Um, and I suppose that would come back to that's the, the one bit I said, you know, the 100 minutes of elevation. I prefer 120 in a true ELR scope. At 100, we're close <laughs> there. And the honest truth is the way I'm using things nowadays, I have another air, air attack base coming for this scope. Um, and that's what I'll put it on, which gives me another 70 minutes of elevation, which means that 170 minutes of elevation in a combination like that turns it into where, you know, the, where we're not talking much difference between 170 and 190 in going in the same combination with 120 minute scope. So it means it's going to do the job. There's going to be no detractions to that side of things. And at the cost side of things, what they're valued at, um, it's very good money for the level of scope that it is. So I don't get into the finer details. That that really depends on your area, your market, and that sort of stuff. What I would say of these guys, what I'm seeing from them, is the level of effort they're putting into their individual um, service to customers, the way you buy from them, that, so they, they are good to deal with, they're shipping all over the world, and they're really putting their effort into their business. So if nothing else, there were, if you're thinking about a scope, it's worth some investigation. I liked it, um, it worked well. I just had it in this MDT base. I prefer a mono base. Um, and I, like I said, I have an air attack coming for it, but this is a nice solid mono, mono base is what I had it in. Um, and I suppose it also worked nicely with the black versus the, versus the gray versus the black sort of stuff. Worked nice and that sort of stuff. I like the look of it as well. Um, yeah, I think that's about my overview on it. I'll put rest of the details down below as to the, the, the weight, length, all that sort of stuff that come with the normal spec side of it. Um, I, as I said, I liked it, worked, shot well. I liked the way the reticle worked for this. I would, if I was to get the extreme of what I wanted, then I would be going to a planar reticle and I'd be going to 120 minutes, um, but we're really close. Anyway, guys, that's my take on this one here. Um, the guys at Tract, you've done a good job. This is a really nice scope. Um, yeah, I hope their company grows well um, and you'll see it again out for us at least a couple of times this year. I've got a fair bit to do, but I would like to show it off a little bit. Uh, the guys that are doing the right thing, I like to support. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Anyway, guys, that's what I can tell you about this one. Let us know any comments or thoughts below and um, thanks for checking in on us. We'll catch you next time.